So Dean, here we are at CES, and you've been walking around the show. Give us a sense of some of the trends that you're seeing so far and how that might relate back to Xbox Live. Sure, yeah. I think the biggest trend we're seeing this year is really the convergence of interactive services that we've historically only seen on the PC starting to come in and hit both the mobile phone and the TV set through connected devices like DVD players or game consoles like the Xbox Live. Okay, and now, what are some of the things you're working on in particular? You guys announced a partnership with Nielsen late last year. Can you uh, talk yeah. a little bit about that and what that means? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, a big area that I personally work on is to enable advertising within the Xbox Live environment, and in particular TV type advertising, 15 and 30 second spots. So in the fall we started working with Nielsen to enable the tracking of the Xbox Live audience through exactly the same Nielsen household people meter system that they use to track traditional TV. And we're basically working together to deliver GRP that's going to make the live audience measurable and trackable in the same way that the TV audience today is measured. And what's the goal with that? Is that ultimately sort of the holy grail of three screen measurement in one? Yeah, absolutely. The way we think of this is that uh, you know, connected environments like live, uh, for advertisers, they can be the best of TV advertising meets the gold, uh, gold standard for TV audience measurement is the GRP, and that's why we partnered with Nielsen to be able to deliver that. What's the status of that project? Is it an experiment, a trial? Is it rolling out wide? Sure. We, we piloted it in an experience that we have in Xbox Live. It's a virtual trivia game called One vs. 100. We use the standard standard methodology for you know, tracking the content that Nielsen uses. Test was successful, so we actually have deployed the infrastructure to do it. What we're figuring out now is how we roll it out more broadly through the experience and how we take the raw data and translate it into that actual final GRP number. Is there a time frame? We haven't announced a time frame, but I would just say progress is very good and it's moving very quickly and we're really happy with the partnership. And anything you've seen in particular in the show that, that really grabs you? What do you think about 3D TV? 3D TV TV, I think, is very exciting. I think if you look at kind of the history of TV, you see a, a, a kind of a pattern of innovations in terms of how the content is presented. We went from black and white to color, and then we went from broadcast to cable, and then we went from analog to digital and HD. And I, every time you see that, you see a new explosion of new content coming out and new formats. And I really think 3D is going to kind of take us through that next inflection point. Thanks so much for joining us, Dean. That's a pleasure.